Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I had a box arrive. That means it's time to show it off. So let's get cracking. All right, let's start with what's inside the box. First part is a piece of sheet metal. This is the cutting mat. How cool is that? It is part of a giveaway. And then inside we have got the Atom Stack A5 M50 Pro. Manual. This is our carriage. There are two more frame pieces below it. Here is the laser. This is the controller and cables and the feet. Here we have a brush, the power supply, a second frame piece is under this one. We've got an HDMI cable, USB cable, tools and hardware and some samples, and the display. Friends, let's dig in and see how to assemble it. Friends, part one, two, and three have good information, but I am going to move to part four, installation. All right, friends, so the atom stack is going to be in the back. Make sure we've got the numbers on the left with the zero. This way, we're going to put our atom stack up, and then we want to make sure that this, we have these holes on the outside. And then make sure you got your step one M25 parts. All right, friends, so right here, beveled edges on my wrenches. Love that. They let you hold your Allen wrench at a little bit of an angle, which can really help when you're working in tight spaces. We do have a sensor on this side, but it actually sits on top of it pretty nice. I'm not too worried about anything going wrong. Spinning this around because of the workspace I have. And last but not least, let's zip around to this side, wrap it up as well. Boom! Step one, done. Alrighty friends, so that was easy peasy. Step two has three steps. One, we slide on the roller assembly. Two, we attach the controller. And then three, let's attach the legs. Once again, the step two parts are all totally separate. Pretty darn slick. That was easy peasy. Alrighty friends, so this attaches right here. There is one M56 and this is where you put the M56. On this side we use the 6mm and then on this side we'll use the ones that we use for all the other parts of step 2. Probably easiest to finger start those. Make sure you leave room to put the cap on afterwards. Once again, these beveled edges on the wrenches are a really slick concept. Of course, spin it around and repeat. And we are making pretty short work of step two as well. Friends, step three is caps and belts. Let's do caps first. Those obviously you just push in. There are two in the back and only one in the front because the other side has the controller. Alright friends, let's do belt number one. It goes over and it goes under and then you need to fish it out the back. It is handy to have a little screwdriver sometimes so that you can pop it out of there. Or even the included Allen wrench. Makes it easier to grab. And then when you fish it one way, you do the same thing to fish it back. Do make sure that you have the gears down. Otherwise, it just doesn't grab like it's supposed to. 
then once again you can use the allen wrench to pull it ahead so that you've got it where it needs to be friends this is a boat nut it's got this sweet shape looks like a bolt when you put it in it rotates 90 degrees now I was having a little trouble getting mine to rotate so so you can see I just got that rotating a little and now I can also get my fat hands out of the way so you can see that as I tighten this down when it gets to the end it'll rotate that fine a little chunk and securely hold the belt in place just like that we gotta do that in the front back and other side once again we're doing the belt over and the belt under making sure that you have the teeth down and then once you've got them pulled through we're going to do that same thing to lock it in place in the front and then in the back real quickly just showing you again I'm getting it started there's the start of that 90 degree turn then I can grab the wrench try and get my hands out of the way and finish and tighten it down all right, so in the back, I'm pulling it a little bit snug. I'm gonna do my little twist to get it started. And then we can wrap it up with the wrench. Pull it a little bit snug. Do my little half rotation. Once again, using the long one so it keeps my fat hands out of the way. And bingo, step three complete. Friends, step four is the laser module, and they remind us, do not engrave reflective materials such as mirrors, stainless steel, coated mirrors, etc. Otherwise, it may damage the laser. Just a heads up while we're getting to it. All right, friends, so this slides into that track easy peasy. There are tons of markings to help you know you've got it in the right spot. And then this is so cool. There is simply one loosen and tighten the spot for you to get it exactly where you want for whatever you're cutting at that time at this point I'm going to clip off the certification and then also there's an eccentric nut down here that we can loosen so that it slides easier right now if we tilt it see how it does not move at all I'm gonna get the tension so that it'll move smoothly when we tilt it at a 45 degree angle. This nut is right behind here and I loosened it about a quarter of a turn. And now if you see it, that slides pretty darn easily. If I go another quarter of a turn, that's pretty darn awesome. Let me spin the camera around and show you where that is from a different angle. Once again, you're using the provided wrench. Alrighty friends, so there's that. And if you look right in there, that's the eccentric nut. And I loosened mine a quarter of a turn until it would slide pretty smoothly. Of course, if yours is too loose, then you tighten it a little bit as well. Friends, step six is wire connection. Of course, we do need to clip them so that we can get them where they go. The first wire goes to the end stop, which is right here. You can get a better angle at that by standing it up and then just making sure you line it up with the notches, just like that. As you follow the cable down, this one goes right here, easy peasy. And then there's an end stop one. I had to spin it around so you can see it, but it is right here. If you check for these little grooves, they go down in the plug. Bam, snapped in place. All right, friends, home stretch. Once again, check for the nubs. They go to the front, easy peasy. And if you check for those nubs, they'll face back to the back of the laser. Then I'm gonna actually push that down. And I'm gonna actually push that down in with a screwdriver, easy peasy. Alrighty friends, so let's peel off the protective cover on the display and one of my favorite things It is magnetic BAM and Then we can wrap up this installation with The HDMI cable probably easier to do this with it off And then once again Snap it in place love those magnets 
Alrighty friends, so now that we're assembled, stop is off, plugged it in. Let's see what happens when we power it on. Laser creates more possibilities. And we are instantly into modes where we can change and do carving and stuff like that. Friends, that assembly was unbelievably slick and I'm loving all the features that are packed into the Atom Stack A5 M50 Pro. Of course, friends, if you're looking for more information, you can check for a link in the description. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.